got Ottawa U Gigi's grad running to Lanarkshire, running back. Uh, we're going to get into that big rivalry, the old <laughs> Gigi's Ravens rivalry. But let's first talk about football itself and, and the game and what it means to you and how this game came to you growing up. When did you know you wanted to be a football player? Yeah, I mean, uh, I grew up, um, my family, the, the big thing was always uh, Sunday in the living room. My dad would be doing the ironing right. and the laundry for the week, and he'd always have... The uh, sauce man. Yeah, exactly. He'd, he'd always have the uh, NFL games on. So, I right. mean, that was the first time I uh, ever got introduced to football. I had a couple friends that uh, growing up I was playing hockey, but they were playing uh, football and kind of introduced me to the sport. Right. And um, yeah, just kind of started out uh, there. I started out um, playing for the Cumberland Panthers here in uh, Orleans at their youngest age group. So I was probably right. nine or 10 um, at the time and um, just never stopped, fell in love with it. Kind of living the dream in that you're the hometown guy. You get to go to school in your hometown. You also get to play for the hometown team. What does that mean for you? Because I did that. I was a Rochester Lion, but I ended up going to Laurier. But I came back and played for Ottawa. And it's a unique experience, maybe a little different experience than most players coming in as a pro here because there's that personal connection. Yeah, no, exactly. You're right. I mean, uh, the great thing that we do here at Lansdowne is the fans come onto the field after the game. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's something special. I mean, I've, I, I get people coming up to me that I haven't seen in 10, 15 years yeah. um, saying, hey, what's up? Um, and, you know, it's like nothing ever changed. So to be able to stay involved in, in the football community here in Ottawa year round now, it's, it's something special for sure. I definitely feel like I have a, a whole lot of people in my corner here. Was there a moment, I know because you're with the Argo, goes and you had that season there and and uh, but to identify as a red black an Ottawa guy was there a moment when you went out pre-game maybe in the locker room when you first that first game where you go this is this is what it was all about all the work I've done all the dreams and all the sacrifices I've made was about this moment yeah for sure exactly I was being with the Argos in uh, 2014 and 2015 yeah. 2016 was the first year here and I actually missed um, the first six or seven games of the of the season dealing with the leg injury that happened in training camp but right. um, I mean the the coaching staff in front office uh, is awesome here and I mean my first uh, game that I dressed here as soon as I was healthy they had me carry the the flag out of the tunnel That's kind um, of so I mean it was yeah it was something that uh that was really special my my family my wife's family um has season tickets on the uh, north side so i mean right. um i'm always running out looking directly at them it's uh it's something special here in ottawa pre-game meal Ooh, uh if it's on a saturday friday night's pizza night i like to make my own pizza like right. a healthier version okay. and then any other day i like eating uh either like a steak or a pasta role model growing up was it a ball player or was it was it your dad ironing while watching football <laughs> I, I definitely definitely say it was uh it was definitely my dad i mean yeah. he he served in the navy for 20 years okay. um when he got out he became a volunteer firefighter he's run marathons i mean he, he just That's doesn't cool. stop yeah he doesn't stop so uh it's a lot to live up to and i've uh, tried my whole life when this game is over what will you be doing for a living Ooh, uh, immediately after I stopped playing, I'd love to get into coaching. Okay. I'd love to get into coaching. At the pro level? Uh, I don't know about the pro right away, but I'd love to uh, kind of dive into university, U sports, athletics, and try and uh, get in and help uh, some of the kids. If you were to be a movie star, because there's some people in the stands, uh, majority of them being part of the, the female persuasion, who think you'd be a great action figure. <laughs> if you were to be a movie star, uh, who would you be? Or what role would you take on? Ooh, I mean, I gotta play. I gotta play the uh, the hero. My wife's kind of got a thing for, um, or had a thing, I guess, for Paul Walker. So, okay. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could take over that role the a little bit. Furious. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I see you doing that. Yeah, yeah. Some fast cars save the day. Yeah. What do you want people to say about you when this is all done? This football journey has ended. You know, uh, I really hope that they they basically say that um, I was the same off the field as I was on the field. On the field, I want to make sure that everyone knows that I'm 100% hustle every single play, um, that I'm hard to beat because of how uh, relentless I am. And, you know, off the field, I want them to say the same things, that uh, I go about life the same way. Your prediction? Ooh, I, I, I'm safe to assume it's going to be a GG victory. Yeah, okay. I think I think I'm going to go GG's by nine. GG's by nine. It'll be yeah, 25, 35, 24 GG's. Yeah, I gotta tell you. And my math didn't even add up, so it'd be 25, 34. Yeah, is that what I said? I don't You're know. Good, lucky doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs>